Please, would you say that Fujitsu is an ethical company? Firstly, if I may just comment on what I've just been listening to this morning, to the sub-postmasters and uh, their families. Uh, Fujitsu would like to apologise for our part in this appalling miscarriage of justice. We were involved from the very start. We did have bugs and errors in the system, and we did help the uh, post office in their prosecutions of the sub-postmasters. For that, we are truly sorry. To your question, Chair, around our ethics, I believe we are an ethical company. The company today is quite different to the company in the early 2000s, and clearly we need to demonstrate that both to our customers, to government, and to the wider society here in the well, UK. I've got in front of me, Mr Patterson, the Fujitsu Code of Conduct. It says, we treat customers, business partners, partners and competitors fairly and with respect. Did you live up to those values when it came to the sub-postmasters? No, we did not. It is very clear from the evidence before the committee and also in the uh, inquiry that our standards were not at the level that we adhere to and state, as you've rightly read. Uh, I am personally appalled by the evidence that I have seen and uh, what I have uh, saw on the television drama and the uh, um, statements I've seen from the victims to the inquiry. So we did not stand up to that um, in those periods of time. And do you accept that Fujitsu evidence was used to put innocent people in prison? Yes, there was evidence from us. We did have a, um, we were supporting rather the post office in their prosecutions. Um, there was data given from us to them to support those prosecutions, so yes. Do you accept that before 2010, your staff knew that there were problems with the Horizon system? The information that was shared with the post office um, as part of our contract with them was very clear. So the post office also knew there were bugs and errors. They also well, just to zero in on this, did staff in your organisation before 2010 know that there were problems with the Horizon system? So I, I believe that Sir Wynne... So, Simple so, yes or no? Well, I don't, I don't personally know, Chair. I think the inquiry is looking at that very point that you... What's just, your gut feel? My gut feel would be yes. OK. So you've said that you're an ethical company. You've said that your evidence was used to put innocent people in prison. You've said that staff in your organisation knew that there were problems with the system. Can you tell us how much you now think your company should contribute to the compensation bill? The inquiry is dealing with some very complex matters over... But is there a moral obligation, Mr Patterson? for you to contribute? Uh, I think there is a moral obligation for the company to, uh, to contribute, and I think the right place to determine uh, that is when our, uh, our responsibility is very clear. There are many parties involved in this um, travesty. But I've just uh, read your uh, last set of accounts which have been published. You've not made any provision in those accounts for a contribution to the compensation, but you're telling the committee today that you believe there is at least a moral obligation for Fujitsu to contribute. When the inquiry finishes... That's a simple yes or no. Well, so is there a moral obligation for Fujitsu to contribute? I've already answered... I already... It's OK. You can keep going. Oh, OK, sorry. Um, yes, I believe there is a moral obligation, and I've already, uh, I've already said that. I think it's also important that the inquiry deals with, these, deals with these very complex matters with all the parties involved. Yes, we have a part to play. Yes, the post office. Already this morning we've talked about lawyers, we've talked about the law. I think all of those matters need to be discovered to bring transparency and to bring the truth. And in that context, absolutely, we have a part to play and to contribute to the redress, I think is the words that Mr Bates used, the redress fund for the sub-postmasters. Thank you very much. Mr Lavery.